Hello, Dave here with RadiationHealthRisks.com. Got a quick video here. We're going to test some of these safety phone cases that protect against radiation or they're supposed to. We're going to test it and find out. Um, as you get into this video, if you find some value here, if it was helpful at all and you liked it, please remember to subscribe to the channel. Also, uh, like the video and and uh, hit the little bell so you get notified when we do future videos and, and even share it in your social media if you if you feel inclined to. We love it when you guys do do that kind of stuff. That really helps us get the word out. So we always appreciate that. So that's my little plug on that. Okay, so I'm gonna explain a little bit first and then we're gonna do the test. And so if you've watched some of my other videos, there may be a little bit of review, but I think there'll be enough new information here probably for most people that it's it, this will be a helpful video for you. I get a lot of questions on the YouTube videos that I do. Um, and so I'm gonna to try to address, explain this and address some of those as we go through this and then we'll do the test. Okay, so the three cell phone cases that we're gonna test, we've got the uh, safe sleeve here. We've got the RF safe case and we've got the wave wall case. And then I've got my little bag that you've some of you might have seen in other videos uh, called the foam guard. So, and then I've got a piece of aluminum foil because just so you guys can see the comparison. Talk first quickly about the design. Um, in order of design, I like the safe sleeve design the best. I think it, the foam fits the best in it. And I like the case and the, I, just like, I just like the design of it. Um, the wave wall has a design like I like, um, but apparently I ordered the wrong one. This particular design was not the one I thought I was ordering, so that was probably my mistake. Um, but we'll still be able to test it. But they do have a, a pretty good design. And then the RF safe um, has a similar design to the safe sleeve. It's just the, the cases don't ever seem to fit my phone quite as, as tightly as the safe sleeve and it just doesn't look as as polished and quite as nice but <clears throat> that's not really why you're getting it i guess so um there's there's a lot of debate out there on the internet on whether or not these are worth having whether or not they're any good um the most uh you know you got basically three camps of people you got the one camp of people that say say oh they're great you know, they protect against everything. I like them, you know, and then you've got the ones that say, oh, they don't protect against uh, thing, radiation goes around. Um, and then you got a third camp that says, well, uh, yeah, the radiation does go around, but it does block some. And so I, you know, they'd rather have it than not have it. And I'm, I'm probably in that camp. Because yes, the radiation does go around, but every once in a while, even though I try to always have my, you know, my uh, air tube headset with me or a uh, situation where I don't have to do this, but every once in a while I'll get a call and I have to take it and I don't have my headset handy and I end up trying to, you know, I try to hold a little bit away from my head, but I end up taking a call like that. Um, and so I personally would rather have a case than not have a case. Uh, that, that is, I know is blocking at least some of the radiation. Now, quick comment on the types of EMA, EMF radiation that, that there is. There's, uh, EMF stands for electromagnetic fields. Um, and there's basically three types of radiation or EMF radiation. Um, there's electric fields, magnetic fields, and radio frequency fields or radio frequency radiation, RF radiation. Um, RF is short for radio frequency. Um, and there's, you gotta, there's meters that will test all three of those. I'm just going to use, I'm just going to test for the most powerful of the three, which is radio frequency or RF radiation, because if, if these block that, they're going to block the other generally. First, what I want to do is we want to turn on this phone and... What I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on, I've got my, I've got my Wi-Fi on and my Bluetooth on. It's 
make sure that's on. Okay, and then I'm gonna make a phone call and we'll we'll turn this meter on and we'll test it. So now I'll try to people can mess with these by moving it farther away from the phone. So hopefully I'm holding it consistent. Okay, there we're maxing, maxing out the meter. So that's what it's like without any protection at all. You're holding that up against your head. This meter will go up to, it'll measure up to 2,000 microwatts per meter squared. So you're getting more than that if, if you don't have any protection, if you're just holding it up like that. Okay, so now um, let's, let's have this phone. Let's put it behind a piece of foil. And just because we know foil reflects, it blocks and reflects the radiation. Let's see how that affects it. Blocks it significantly. Looks like almost 600 is about the highest I've seen there. Where it was up over 2,000 on the other one. Okay, now we're going to do the wave wall. Let's put that in there. Okay, so let's see how it does here. I saw 675 was the highest I saw. It's blocking pretty good. Most of it's significantly lower than the foil even. Fo foil will actually reflect the uh, radiation, whereas foil will actually reflect the radiation, and so I think more of it goes around. Okay, so now let's try the, this is the RF safe. Five, oops, 637, eight something, 10 something. Hopefully I'm holding it the same distance. You guys can double check me. Okay, with RF safe there, we got the meter pegged once. So most of the time it's about the same as the others, but we did get a meter peg. Oh, we got over a thousand. 1100 Okay, so that doesn't seem to be blocking quite as good Now we're going to do the safe sleeve Sorry the meter's freaking out because I've got the phone out again Okay, so let's Get the safe sleeve in there Hopefully I'm holding it the same distance I think 200, 300, almost 400. Okay, I had to pause the video because with the safe sleeve, the uh, call ended. So I wanted this test to be consistent. Okay, there we got 1300. 200, 133. The problem that you have when you're testing this kind of stuff with a cell phone is the cell phone doesn't always constantly put off the same um, level of signal. I had Wi-Fi on, Bluetooth on, and I had it in a call on all three. Um, but it's at different stages of the call. Um, so it's, it's, it's kind of hard to, to tell but out of that test, um, the, the three that seemed to do the best, or the, the order that did the best, was the wave wall was consistently low, the whole, lower than, you know, it was five, six hundred the whole time. The, uh, uh, the RF safe pegged the meter a time or two. I can't remember if it did it just once or a couple. And I don't think the safe sleeve pegged the meter, but it was pretty high couple of times. Okay, the last one that I want to test here, let me get the call going again. I want to test uh, with this phone guard so you guys can see how that does. Um, I guess I better put it in. Put it in the phone guard and we'll test with that.
that foam guard or doesn't hardly get anything through because the reason is is the material is is it's the material that this bag is made out of is is uh, got a lot of metallic fibers in it um, this bag has a lot of metallic fibers and they're really close together if you it's if it's got a pocket in here if you if you put the phone in there like that and closed it up you wouldn't get any reading that that blocks so much radiation that you your phone won't even ring it won't even get a cell signal but I was putting it in the pocket where the cloth is only covering one side of it um, so that it was a fair test against this you don't want to have it in the other one because then you can't get your phone won't ring but anyway um, so this is and may not be that aesthetically pleasing but it really works good for blocking it I like to carry my phone in that a lot of times and uh, I'll just carry it like in a loose pocket with the, the fabric side next to me so just to kind of wrap up what did we find here well we found just what I told you know told you in the beginning these things block it some do a little bit better job than the others um, but they, they do block radiation but radiation gets around so it's just you know the safest way if you can ever if you're uh, uh, trying to be as safe as absolutely possible whenever possible put your phone on speakerphone and set it away from your body as far as you can if you can't do that the next safest way is an air tube headset um, and then as far as if if you ever going to have it up against your head or in your body I would never ever carry it in a pocket like this next to my body enough radiation is going around I just would never do that that's just not smart um, the only time I ever hold it up to my head like this and I just hold it I don't hold it right up to my head I, ho I hold it a little bit of ways away because this radiation dissipates with distance um, but that's only an emergency if I don't have my headset and I got to take the call so you guys can make your own decision whether or not you think it's worth getting the case. I think it is because um, I gotta have a case anyway and I'd rather have one that protects for radiation. So that's my thought on it. And the cases aren't typically much more expensive than like with this case. You know, I, before I started doing this, I would buy, uh, I would buy, you know, uh, something to protect the glass of the phone like a, a you know a plastic or a glass cover that, that protects the glass surface of the phone plus I would buy a thirty forty dollar case I think this case you know I think I with this case I don't need the protection on, on the glass because th this covers it all the time so it's completely protected I think it's really not any more expensive than than what people normally buy to protect their phone. And at least that way you got a little bit of, of blocking of the radiation. But again, never keep it to your body. Never, you know, keep always keep it in a, if you're wearing a coat, keep it in a loose pocket away from you in a purse and, and uh, just use common sense. So I hope that was helpful. I hope that was a benefit to you. So again, subscribe to the channel, hit the like button and all that stuff. And we'll talk to you in the next video. video. Appreciate it, thank you.